I've been looking at the book of Ezra. I just want to have a look now at Ezra chapter 5. And uh, I'm going to read a little bit first. And let's start now at uh, verse 17 in Ezra chapter 5, verse 17. Now, if it pleases your majesty, let a search be made in the royal records in Babylon to find whether or not Cyrus gave orders for this temple in Jerusalem to be rebuilt. And then inform us what your will is in this matter. So this is a quite important part in Ezra where there's been this dispute about whether there was any right to build this temple, whether there was really authority to do this. And it went back to this decree of Cyrus. Cyrus was a guy who amazingly mentioned in scripture in Isaiah 45, God's got a plan to bring this guy into place and he makes this decree and that's part of the amazing process that happens and why the people end up back in the land and resource to build the temple, to rebuild the temple. And yet this is contested. And uh, they're really trying to check, having seen it contested, whether, whether or not this really happened. Was this decree made? Was this authority given? Was there permission? You know, and let, let's go back to the clarity of what has it actually said? And it reminds me of Genesis. You know, when the serpent comes along, and he says, did God really say? What, what, are you sure? Are you really sure that God said that? And there's times in our lives when we feel uncertain. We're trying to remember, um, what does it say in the Bible? Sometimes God wants us to, to get hold of a scripture, a particular word, something that's a real promise. And all the promises um, that, that God brings in his word um, are fulfilled, are, are, bringing to, uh, are brought into completion through Jesus. So it's very, very important for us to lay hold of what God has said. And in the same way, these guys had to be clear what it actually say. Was there a real uh, agreement made? Was there a real decree made by King Cyrus? What, what was the real basis of them starting this work in the first place? And sometimes, you know, we, we need to be in a place where we feel grounded and founded on the word of God and on the promises. We need to lay that foundation really clearly. They couldn't lay uh, a foundation, start building up and start establishing and using this temple and all the rest of it um, without clarity and authority, without permission. And, you know, sometimes there's lots of things in life that are affected by that, aren't there? You, you can't. Um, get some payment made without giving your permission. And you know that there's a problem if somehow somebody's tapped into the bank account and done something, and that's the first sign that flags up with the, the bank. The bank will notice something. There's, there's an unusual transaction gone on in your account. It, was that you? Was it not? Was it somebody else? Was somebody trying to pitch money out of your account? So things that are not authentic, sometimes they do come up, but they are tested and questioned. And um, we need to know, too, whether what we are standing on is a firm foundation, is solid, is clear. Is it God's word? Is it something that God has said? You know, you might be having various words over your life, prophetic words. Maybe someone's giving you a prophecy. Maybe you've had a dream that you felt God spoke through. Maybe there's a scripture you felt God was speaking to you very specifically about direction in life and that kind of stuff. And I, I had a friend just recently and she was saying I, I keep having these dreams of maps and um uh quite dramatic dreams i think a whole series of dreams and so i said you know uh, have you talked to other friends have you asked friends to pray about it as well um ask god just to give you clarity and peace about what he's saying through this it, it might become a bit clearer he might give you some kind of understanding I'd said to her as well that sometimes you know, I enjoy using maps, uh, that, the actual sort of physical maps, uh, sometimes to pray over places. And I said, maybe God's kind of bringing these places to light. He's, he's just highlighting for you these places. And it may be that you go there, but it might be first great to start praying. Uh, do Even if you can't travel right now, start praying about these places. Uh, if God's giving you kind of very dramatic dreams about places, and allow him to process that and show you 
and, and give you clarity. So it's very important. Sometimes God will give us a, a word. We, you know, we can get confused in our own heart and mind, our motives, our, our different kind of agendas in life, the things that we, we might read into it, which might not be there. But I think it's really good. When we, when we get hold of a scripture, we know that all scripture is God-breathed, it says. All, all scripture is God-breathed and, and useful for teaching, um, rebuking, correcting in righteousness. So we'd be built up, that we'd be strong, uh, in, in God's promises, in God's truth. And so if there's a specific thing, a scripture that's come to mind, maybe God is giving you some kind of understanding, a revelation about something, then pray over it and see and chew it over. And, you know, that will begin to be clearer. Uh, sometimes we don't always understand if we've received a prophetic word, we need to just pray through and say, Lord, make it clear, give me your peace about this, guide me, show me how to respond to this. If this scripture is specific for me, what are you saying through it? Is there something that you want to uh, lead me into? Is there a, is there a promise you want me to take hold of, you know, that will do something in my character? And there may be times too that we need a specific permission. Uh, that these, these guys clearly did in Ezra chapter 5. We we, we know that there's a very practical obstacles to something happening and we, and we need a very practical solution to it. Um, we were praying a while because we had a quite a major maintenance job that had to happen in our house. And uh, because of the COVID outbreak, um, originally these people were going to come on March the 27th. And uh, of course the lockdown happened on March the 23rd. So it got delayed a bit and said like, okay, maybe we might be able to come, you know, early mid-June. And then that got delayed. And finally it was kind of four and a half months. Um, and then we just literally today managed to kind of settle all that up with them and everything, you know. And uh, here we are, so the beginning of September. Um, I can't remember, yeah, I mean, originally the uh, problem started mid-February. So, um and some of it goes back to last December. So it's kind of, it's been a long haul. And I, I've been praying, you know, Lord, this can't be that complicated. We've got to sort of see this resolved. We've got to see the end of this. Um, we've got to get this thing done. And that was very much the experience of these guys in, in, in Ezra. Uh, it was very fits and starts. It was stop and start. It was kind of lost heart and get going again and, you know, this year might have really felt like that for many people, I think. I've been feeling like that uh, over uh, a situation just recently. I'm thinking, Lord, you know, I just I just want to get going. I just want to feel like we're in the groove and we're moving forward and we're, you know, we're not sort of stuck. And um, so I want to pray. Lord, if there's situations where we feel that we have got stuck, I pray for a breakthrough right now. I feel like this is a time for us to just lay hold of that. If there's a specific uh, piece of legislation that we need to kind of grapple with, I know COVID-19 has created all those dilemmas for a lot of people and it's made them feel like, oh, I can't do this because, I, you know, it's against the guidelines. So I pray for breakthroughs in, in that. If there is a specific uh, situation that you need to get permission for, and you feel like, I don't feel I've got permission, or I know there's a legal situation here that I need to see a breakthrough. I know there's a financial circumstance that I need to see provision for. I know that somebody needs to give authority and give the go-ahead and give the green light, and it feels stuck in the system, and everybody's questioning whether I've got the right to go and do this or not. So if that's the situation, I pray, Lord, that you would encourage us, even today, that you would help us, that if, if you want to give us a specific promise through Scripture, that we need to lay hold of. Uh, that's a real word to us that will bring peace. I pray that you'll speak to us in that way. For those who perhaps are receiving some understanding from the Lord, maybe maybe like my friend, you know, it feels like God's speaking to you in dreams or God's giving you some kind of revelation or you've received a prophetic word from somebody or whatever, you're trying to make sense of it and you feel that's kind of made you uncertain, unclear, but you want to understand what is the mind of God on this? What is, what is the mind of Christ? I want to pray that you will have a real sense of God's peace. He, he will lead you into perfect peace. 
that you have the helmet of salvation, that, that, that gives you clarity of mind, that there's no confusion there. There's not this kind of serpent enemy thing coming in like Genesis 3 was, did God really say this? Did God say this? And wherever we need to perhaps be clear in our own hearts and motives, where maybe there could be confusion, where our own uh, motivations might be complicated as well, some of the decision making might be a bit clouded by our own judgments. We, we don't want to jump ahead into, especially into major decisions without thinking them through well and perhaps getting good counsel and uh, being able to get into the peace of God and have confirmation that it's the right thing, particularly if it's a big decision. So I want to pray for clarity. And I pray too, Lord, where, where we need to just go back to a source and find out who said what and who gave permission and where we're pretty convinced that we've got the permission to do something but everybody's questioning it and we're not sure how we can make it clear to them um, and there's this kind of a level of doubt and indecision and and and, and perhaps some opposition i want to pray for that breakthrough for, for many people anybody who's watching this that they will find that encouragement and that all the work that God wants to do in their life or in their church or in their ministry or in, you know, a situation in their family. All the things that you want to give the green light to, Lord, all the, all the ways in which, you know, like, like I'm, I'm here at the moment in the Wyoming base. And I'm just thinking, Lord, I just want to feel like we're moving forward as a team and we're moving forward. And some of us are away and got stuck places because of COVID and. You know, it's been a bit of a strange year, to put it mildly. So I want to pray, even in this place here in our prayer room, I want to pray that we would come into that place of breakthrough today. I saw a lovely Instagram video my, my friends did on, on um, Heaven's Realm. They do a little Instagram feed. It was all about breakthrough. And so I want to pray that that be our, our, our reality today, even in this place, even this time for my own life, my own situation, for yours too. And for wherever, wherever you are, whatever the circumstances, I want to pray just for breakthrough. <laughs> breakthrough. Uh, yeah, we just declare breakthrough. I just feel like God's blessing on that. His stamp of approval on that. And I just pray for you right now. I pray for God's breakthrough. I pray for, 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 for provision. I pray for encouragement. I pray for that uh, permission that you feel like you can't quite get. You know, and it, you just need the green light. You need to go ahead. You need the permission to go forward. And I pray that that would be the reality for you too. Thank you, Lord. I feel God's blessing on that. I really do. I feel like God's really hearing our prayer. And I, I feel the favour of heaven really uh, on on this time with us together. That, you know, God, God has heard our prayers. He has um, listened to our cry. So bless you loads.